Okay, on this video, I will be explaining how to wire a Kelvinator oven. Um, the model for this one is 126. So this is specific for 126 oven. Um, I will make a series of videos of ovens that I've came across and I will also uh, explain their wirings. Though some ovens i will not tell you the models because um what i do i just keep the the wiring diagrams for reference because sometimes in ovens um you are not always the first technician to come and do the repair let's say we were to wire this oven and now what happened is we are the second to come for a repair and when we get there there is no wiring there are no wires we don't know which wire goes where so that becomes a problem that might take us a lot of time trying to figure how the switch operate and comparing um, what we get from the switch when we measure with what the display screen tells us we're supposed to be getting so um i do have a thermostat okay this is a, a thermostat uh, which type um this is the type of the thermostat i've drawn so input output um i will use this switch um this is the switch but this one it's not for a kelvinator it's for a defy i just don't have the switch in the moment um this is a four position switch um that you get um to kelvinator ovens kelvinator like to use the switch and if you are where i am you will not get this switch you will have to order it outside um if you like me you don't want to make your life difficult by ordering this thing and paying for it in the courier you will know that um kelvinator switches at the back um they're not like this one they are like this one so all you need to do when you get that four position switch it has this so these are the things that gives us problem to these selector switches so you just put your flat here you take this thing up just don't mess with these things you take this thing up and you take the old switch you remove that and you take it out um you put the new one then that switch will be good to go um, so um how i've drawn that one i've drawn it like this um, you can see that this one on this one these one two they are the same one two they are the same on this one only these ones are the same they are breached that one stands there um, so how do this selector switch works this selector switch um, you will take um live from your live bar and you will take neutral from neutral bar of the stove um, we all know that it will go to the frame and also to the element um, so what happens is um, when you wire this switch, um, this live will come here. But according to the way you should wire this switch, this live is supposed to be bridged here. But now, because we want to use the thermostat, this live, you don't bridge it there. You take this life to the thermostat and it comes back and you wire it here when you wire this one you know that one also is wired so how does this switch works um, 
um, this switch when you switch it on you're taking electricity from here and here then the light will come on and the LED light will come on but when you take it whether to grill or to put on bake element it will start using the electricity that is here so until you switch on the thermostat um, these connectors will not work so when you say grill it will not grill if the thermostat is off so you switch on the thermostat so you know that that one um, will go to to the light or, or that neutral or you, you put neutral there and then I will not wire the the light here. I will only wire these. Sometimes um, these Kelvinators they can use um, a LEDs like this one will go to to the grill element as it is G there. I will explain the the light wiring later this one it's the top bake element it will go as it says to the top bake element and this one is the bottom bake element so it will go To the bottom big element so neutral you take neutral straight from the neutral bar then we wire neutral there and we bridge neutral to all the elements so let's say this kelvinator uses um let's say three leds right for grill well, let's say two and that one will be grill and that one will be bake so when you are baking you want it to turn you want it um this led to switch on so um i think we know that they will be on the display of your stove so what happens is neutral um, will be bridged from there to to a to the led so this one for grill it will only be activated when we switch on grill So when we switch on grill, the grill element comes in and that LED comes in. So we come to the top, okay, to the bake element. If um, we, we want this bake to indicate the, the, the bottom, so we will take wire from there. Then this wire will come to this LED uh, and also if we want the light to come on when we are switching on um, we will take let's say the we will have to take electricity from here then to the light to the life side of the light let's say it's the light um, but uh, in most cases, you won't have this problem, but I'm just giving an example 
um, should that happen we will also take neutral but the light because the light is at the back of the oven um, it will be wise to take neutral here then to the light then when do we want this light to come on if we want this light to come on when we are switching on the thermostat we will take um, live here then to the light that that's how it should go when it comes to lights and stuff on this video i just wanted to explain how you wire that switch to your grill to the bake the top bake to the bottom bake element and how you include the thermostat that was it thanks for watching um look for another upcoming video part two where i will be explaining a different wiring of an oven.